Y'all want to know how I grew these? Stay tuned, and I'll tell you everything. I'm back for another video. This is Broke Farmer, and look, on today's episode, I'm going to be pulling sweet potatoes. Now, if you're wondering when is your sweet potato ready, now, I've done a lot and a lot of extensive Google research and watching YouTube videos, y'all. I've been up nights upon nights on when to do this and what is the right time to do it. Now, it's, it's two frames of reference for this that I came across. Number one, 95 to 120 days, your sweet potato should be ready. And I also came across a couple clips that said uh, when the vines start turning yellow and dying back, now, I'm currently at 126 days, and I have some yellow leaf, some, some leaves turning yellow and, you know, starting to die out. So I feel like this is the perfect time, and I'm going to bring y'all along on this journey, and this is how I harvest my sweet potato. All right, y'all, this is the first thing I was talking about. All this is starting to yellow and die back. But right here, still green. It's ate up by bugs, but it's still green, y'all. But we're going to go ahead and pick it, y'all. I'm going to set the camera First up. thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull some of these vines out, y'all. They're going everywhere. <laughs> I guess that's enough for now. So I should make a video <laughs> on 20 things not to buy from Dollar Tree. This was a Dollar Tree grow bag, y'all. One of the worst investments of my life. I wish I had a receipt I'd take it back. All right. So let's get some potatoes, y'all. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a potato. Looks like it was still producing. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Let's take a thumbnail. Alright. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a nice one. That's a big one. So, I guess I should explain the routine of what I did. Uh, planting a pine soil. Uh, I didn't use. Uh, black cow this time just regular pine soil and I uh, fertilize it once a week with a 333 blend all organic and put it in this cheap grow bag more beautiful potato That is a big one. That is a big one. Those are some big potatoes, y'all. Big potatoes, no women. Hold on, let me get something to put these in. I'm gonna cure them in this box, but I think I need a bigger box. I was expecting this many, this many potatoes. It's a decent size. 
small one, but it's gonna get eaten. That's a big boy. And then that's a little one, but it's gonna get eight too, y'all. I think I picked them right at the right time. Cause even the small ones are, are edible. But I didn't want to keep leaving these in there when they that big. Thumbnail. Bam. <laughs> Got him, baby. Got him. Yes, sir. Another big one. Now, this. Another thumbnail. Bam. Big one. All right. Yeah, I'm going to need a bigger box. Little one. Big one. This crow size, huh? Kroger size. Kroger, eat your, Kroger, if you watching this video right now, eat your heart out. I ain't never got to get another sweet potato from you. You know why? Because this started out with one, one sweet potato that I got slips off. Might be the biggest sweet potato harvest on YouTube, y'all. Look how this bag just fall apart. Don't ever buy these Dollar, dollar Tree uh, grow bags. Go to Amazon and get you a good grow bag. I gotta admit, though, if it wasn't so raggedy, I could say it grew good in this bag, though. Look at that. All big. Now look, my phone ringing. Don't call me when I'm doing big time stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm doing big time stuff out here. Now I gotta figure out how to get this dirt up because I ain't leaving no dirt behind. Somebody out there think I'm playing. All right. This is the harvest uh, for day one. I mean, from from the first uh, bag. Let's look at the other bag. All right, family. This is my other bucket. Bucket. Pull these vines out. And look, the top part was trying to uh, grow some more sweet potatoes. So I'm taking the most of them at the bottom. See, I would have had another one this big, y'all. It ain't looking too good so far, y'all. Let's pour it out in, in a little monkey. Oh, what? It's all kind of grubs in there. Y'all see these big old grubs? See the big grub? Can y'all see that big grub right there? And they didn't... Oh my goodness. That was a complete dud. I don't know it's the worms in there or my bad they're still trying to call me they want to know about these sweet potatoes now look y'all i want to show y'all this worm i mean uh i guess it's a grub look at this grub y'all look how big it got i think it was out here grubbing on my darn food r.i.p grub R.I.P. 
Now look. This the one that was in the, uh this bucket. Or this container. So obviously, this is either was the container where it couldn't get enough air flow through there. Or these huge, huge uh grubs. Look at more grubs in here. Yeah, buddy, you got you got to go, buddy. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna store uh, my good sweet potatoes and how I'm gonna try to cure them, okay? Y'all stay tuned for a second. All right, y'all, this is how I'm gonna try to cure them. Um, they're supposed to cure for 10 days and they're supposed to get sweeter and that sugar get going in there. So I got it in the ramen noodle box, you know me. I got these in here. Look at the monster, look at the monster. Not supposed to knock the dirt off, I mean, clean them real good, just knock a little bit of excess dirt off them. And I got the other one on top of a fan with a little of this uh, weed barrier cloth up underneath it. And I'm gonna let them sit in here for 10 days. Don't get any light in here. This is where I uh, cured my white potatoes. So if y'all got any more uh, ideas on curing sweet potatoes, let me know. Look at that monster. Ooh. Can I find the sun? First off, y'all, be safe, be good, and most importantly, be you.